Hello everyone, I'm Pete Sweeney. I'm Asia editor of Reuters Breaking Views. We're just here at the conclusion of our Predictions 2018 event. As you can see, it was uh, quite well received. We got a massive amount of guests who are making a lot of noise. So I hope you can hear me clearly. We're gonna have to speak a little loud. I'm here with Janice Lee of PCCW Media, the managing director. Uh, she's uh, here to talk to us a little bit about uh, media consumption patterns. Um, and movies and stuff like that. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Um, I really appreciated your, your coming and, and talking as a panel. I just wanted to follow up on a couple things. Um, for one thing, you were talking about the changing, everybody's watching the Chinese market and this new generation of people coming out. Um, you know, when I first lived in China, it was great because you could download anything and it was all free, music, movies, everything, but it was also the despair a lot of content providers seem to think that that's changing and people are more willing to pay. Can you talk a little bit more about like the new generation and, and where the money is going yeah. in terms of paying for content? Yeah, so you certainly have seen the burgeoning of very uh, successful platforms in, in mainland China, online video streaming, uh, largely there are three of them at, as a minimum. And all three of them are growing at you know very high growth rate, over 100% in terms of revenue. But if you look at the revenue mix, that has changed as well. Mm. So in the beginning, nobody think people would pay for content. Right? Everything came free, you know, especially for content in China. But in the last 24 months, you've seen actually a lot of successes in converting customers to paying subscribers by putting content behind the paywall, um, by charging for membership, so to speak. And I think there's more than um, half a billion online video viewers um, in the mainland China. I think at least there are 60 million who are now uh, paying subscribers. And that number has basically grown um, out of the last 24 months. So definitely, I think that's going to be an ongoing trend. Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, the people who are paying for the content are the cash rich, time poor segment of the audience. And that is becoming a bigger and bigger group of the audience. So I do think this trend is um, going to continue. Um, in terms of um, the changes of the dynamics of this revenue uh, for uh, the rest of the region, I do feel you know other parts of Asia, Asia seeing the same trend. Indonesia um, and the bigger markets like uh, Indonesia and Thailand, you will see a balanced mix of digital video advertising and subscription being the dual streams. Do you see the content getting better? I mean, like it's one thing to change the paywall and everything, but if you have the same old content, I mean, have these companies gotten better at tailoring their their product for, for the market? Yes, I think apart from the global hits and the big Hollywood hits, media consumption or content consumption is actually very local. Mm. Um, people want to see local faces and people they can relate with. And if you look at the uh, investment in content, or in original production um, in the mainland, um, uh, the, the competitiveness of it has increased significantly. The dollars being put into per episode um, has more than grown by tenfold easily in the last um, 12 to 24 months. And that's appearing as better quality content on screen. And apart from feeding the domestic market, Market, I do believe there's going to be an increasing, um, although it's still early stages yet, an international market for that mainland content. So, I mean, right now, the China and the U.S. are negotiating a deal about like how many movies get to be imported into China and displayed on China. Now, obviously, if you're hearing what you just said, you might worry that, like, well, the Chinese Chinese viewers are going to be watching more local stuff and less like imports. Um, do you buy that? Like, is the is the market getting more localized in Asia as, as Asian content gets better quality at the expense of, say, like American Hollywood blockbusters? Yeah. So I look at the, the film market and the tele and the sort of TV market as two separate markets. I think you see a lot more, especially domestic consumption on the television side because just the volume of it, and also um, both in terms of TV drama as well as um, uh, 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 live uh, action. Uh, series and variety shows, that skews much more local. In terms of films, I think international blockbusters will continue to do well, but you are beginning to see uh, also a more balanced mix, and also I think some of it is quite deliberate to help groom um, a local creative industry in the mainland. Great. Janice Lee, thanks so Thank much. You.